In this video, we'll take a virtual tour into the tabernacle, then examine additional infographics for Solomon's temple and priestly garments. If you've studied the tabernacle in detail, then you're aware of the furniture and symbolism attached to this complex structure. With Logo 6, you can explore the tabernacle and other elaborate topics with the new interactive infographics from the Faith Life Study Bible. First, go to the command bar and input the abbreviation FSB. You'll notice you get a few options in the menu. For this lesson, I want to select the one called Interactive Infographics from the Faith Life Study Bible. If you're familiar with the Faith Life Study Bible, then you've come to appreciate some of the beautiful media tied to the Bible notes. Some of my personal favorites are the infographics that help explain complex topics like temple and tabernacle. Now Logos has made these brilliant illustrations interactives. The Faith Life Study Bible interactive infographics are like textbook illustrations come to life. On the home screen of this tool, we can check out awesome media on a variety of biblical topics. But for this lesson, let's first focus in on the tabernacle. When I select the tabernacle, Logos launches an interactive that lets me examine each element of this elaborate structure piece by piece. Currently, I'm looking at the entire structure, and to the left of the media, I have a brief summary of this portable temple. To jump to individual parts that make up the tabernacle, click the down menu that currently says Tabernacle and select the piece you want to view. Or click the right or left arrows just beside this and jump to each part one by one. Clicking the right arrow, zooms in and highlights the curtains surrounding the tabernacle courtyard. Notice that toward the front of the courtyard on the east side, there's a gate. Click the gate and zoom in on this opening. What's interesting about the east gate is that in the creation narrative, God expelled Adam and Eve from the garden via the eastern entrance and placed cherubim outside the entrance to prevent them from coming in. With the tabernacle, God is once again allowing Israel to enter His presence through the eastern gate. Clicking the gate again will zoom back out, allowing you to see the entire structure. With each piece, we can click, highlight, and zoom in to learn more. Click the right arrow until you zoom in on the brazen altar. You'll notice that this altar was equipped with handles because the entire tabernacle, along with all its furniture, had to be portable. A cutaway of the tabernacle covering lets us peek inside and see the holy place and the most holy place separated by a veil. Notice behind the veil, we have the famous Ark of the Covenant. In the information pane, we learn that the Ark is the holiest object in Israel's worship and that it represents the presence of God and contained the tablets which had the Ten Commandments inscribed on them. You can even hover over the text link and read this portion of Exodus. Let's move out of the most holy place and into the holy place for a moment by clicking the table of showbread. Notice in this description we have additional links for bread of the presence and small table, which will take us to the fact book so we can continue our discoveries. Now click the back button and return to the infographic homepage. From here, we can explore the temple as well as priestly garments. The priestly garments infographic is especially helpful for explaining and helping others visualize this elaborate attire. You can jump from piece to piece and examine each article individually. Going back to the homepage again, this time select Solomon's Temple and note differences and similarities between this structure and the tabernacle. Because this temple later replaced the tabernacle, you'll find some of the same furnishings like the lampstand and the table of showbread. The interactive infographics from the Faith Life Study Bible are a great way to visualize and study these structures piece by piece. They're an amazing tool for personal study or elegant presentations. To get started using Logos, go to logos.com six.